Hello! Today I'm going to talk a bit about the essentials of Tinkercad, which you can use on any browser. When you go on Tinkercad, you would log in for this, then you would do sign in. So, to start, you have to click on create new design, which is the big blue button. And here you have your workspace. There's this grid, which is the work plane, and there are the shapes here, which you can use. You can use the, well, if you want to change the angle from docking, you can either click here, or you can use the right button of the mouse, and you can move your mouse, and you can look around. If you use the middle button, you can pan, you scroll to zoom in and zoom out and you use the left button to select things so for example this if you place accidentally something and you want to delete it you you click cancel and that's a bit um, there's the basics if you want to stop building something can click one of these shapes or you can click here and there are different more things which we will see later. You can scroll here and you will see that there are more things. Tinkercad um, works in the way that you have shapes, you can put them together or use whole shapes to cut out things. So for example I will grab this cube, so I click on the cube and I will drag it here click again and here I've got this cube if I click here on this uh, red um, or any other circle I can choose what I can be it's like grey, black, yellow or transparent transparent uh, has its color so you can choose a color but then it's going to be semi-transparent so for example if I put this polygon here you will be able to see it but you will see it a bit greener since it is green right if i go white here you can see it as if it is green if you want to make uh, something which isn't one of these shapes you can grab another one and you can place it here yeah. for example if you want to move your sh uh, shape you can Either use the arrow keys, you can also press shift so it moves more, or you can use, you can click on it and move it. To move up, there's this kind of cone, and you can drag it up. If you want to make it bigger, you can either change here, or you can just use these boxes which are here. If you want to make something proportionally smaller you can click um, hold shift and then you can make it smaller or bigger whilst retaining the same ratios. Now I'm going to make this not transparent and we will see how to make the first shape. So you hold shift and then you can click on two or more shapes or you can drag out like this and you can select everything in the square then you can click on this button and you make one shape so this is a singular shape and it's, uh, it's not any one of the shapes which is here this is uh, good you have made uh, something now you might want to make it more colorful because this is only green or, or like only pink but if I click multicolor you can make it with the colors of the original shapes so it's more colorful now let's say we want to remove a cylinder from this we can make a hole so I'm going to grab this make it higher and then holding shift I'll make it smaller 
Then I have like draw. I can shift click on this and then I can click on this align or L and there are these dots and you can align it, align them however you want. I'll move it this a bit more over here and then I will shift click on both and I will group them together. But let's say that I put this hole in the wrong place. So I can do ungroup and I can move it here where I want it and I can group it again. You know, I have, we have a nice uh, thing. You can also use this shape as a hole. So you can click on hole and then we can grab like a big cube like this and group these two together. If you make a mistake, you can click on these arrows to undo or redo. And now we have our cube with a uh, weird hole in it. If you want, you can also change the orientation of the shapes kind of like this if you press shift it will snap more if you don't it will be smooth you can also type in here how much you want now i will make this all weird okay so this is these are the, like, this is the main thing, like almost all you can do here. You can, well, you can also get shape generators or more shapes. Shapes that other people have made on Thinkercad. So here, this, if you click here, you can choose. You can go, for example, structures and scenery. These are mostly shape generators. Yep. This is like this whole system. This is not a shape generator, it's just a normal shape. As is, for example, this. But if I grab like a tree, tree is always a um, tree, is always a um, shape. But if I go here, for example, uh, yes, it's in shape generators, I can grab. You can click featured all and I can grab like this wall and I can choose like I want more rows or then more columns for example and this is big is very laggy so I'll decrease this <laughs> there are many things you can um, modify here I want to delete this so that my computer won't get angry. Then there's this and you can like align things. So I'll grab a basic basic shape now I can align things or I can change things like this so that you can see better how things are so you can see like the distance in the x and z axis and you can also see the x y and z of the square or the cube or whatever shape you have uh, sometimes you want to make something a little a two dimensional, something two dimensional more complex. So there's this scribble. You can click on this scribble, and you can place it here. And it will, and you can draw things. So now it will take you here, and you can draw something. Then you can click done. 
and you have your circle. You can change the height. Yes, you make it color or circle. You can edit scribble and go back to this. You can also use the, the eraser and you can delete stuff. Your, you can delete your scribbles. And then there's this where you can practically draw a shape and it will fill automatically. And the same thing for the eraser. If you don't have anything scribbled, it will appear like this. But sometimes you are lazy or you don't have enough time and you want to get others to work. So you can either go on Tinkercad here and click on gallery. And here there will be many nice things that you can find. You can also, you can go on design circuits which you will see in a bit and, um, and and code blocks you can go on think that and uh, you can do also other things you can do circuits which is practically the same thing as uh, the design but you can you put electronic parts and you can also do assemblies which are like things which serve a basic function once you have made your thing uh, or you have grabbed your design you can do star simulation and for example here there's a nice electric motor then you can code in it well, if you have like an Arduino, which is codable. This is a brief overview over code. And then there's code blocks. Where you can kind of code. And they can kind of code um, a shape. And you can move it, you can change it, you can do... You can do more stuff. Uh, sometimes you um, so sometimes you are searching for something and you can't find it in the Tinkercad library. So you can go to a very useful site called Finiverse. In Finiverse, you can find many things. These are, for example, the most popular in the last 30 days. You can uh, change like most popular the last seven days or the newest. The ones which have been made most, the most popular of all time, the most popular this year. You can uh, search like 3D printing. You have one 3D printing stuff. You can do like art. Here's art. You can also do like a sub thing. So, for example, there are 3D printer accessories, extruders, pots, printers, printing tests. Um, so, for example, let's see 3D printer tests. These are you used when you have like um when you have a new 3D printer or it or you just want to see how good your is. So here there are some some tests. So for example you can go on one. You can also research something here so you can but like, I don't know, a gear. 
and you can find some gears. So let's say that we want to make a um, 3D printer test. So we're going to go on 3D printer tests and then we can uh, look at some gear. Let's say that like this, we like this one. Then we can click download all files. You can, so you can here you can either download only one of these designs, have multiple files. So for example, this one has these bearings and this different bearing. And uh, I think that's enough for this video.